Good morning, brothers and sisters. I am blessed and highly favored to see another day. All glory and praise be to my Father God, who is ahead of everything in my life and especially my marriage. Now, with that being said, what I am going to be speaking about in this video this morning is laws of justice and mercy and i'm going to be reading out of the book of exodus chapter 23 verses 1 through 9 and this really is going to be you know i'm gonna be shedding a little light on the situation uh you know that took place you know um you know, God gave uh, this word to me because, um, you know, if I'm any, if I'm, you know, involved in any situation, you know, I take it to God first. So, because uh, God, I never, you know, stir me wrong. You know, if I pray to Him, you know, uh, and seek, you know, wisdom, you know, from my Father God. So, uh, all right, enough of that. All right, let's go ahead and jump in this word. Of course, y'all know I'm reading out of my NIV uh, study Bible. So here we go. Do not spread false reports. Do not spread false reports. Do not help a guilty person by uh, malicious witness malicious witness do not follow the crowd in doing wrong you know if somebody doing wrong don't go off and side with them you know following them acting like they do don't do none of that and this is coming out of God's word when you give testimony in a lawsuit do not pervert justice by siding with the crowd and do not show favoritism to a poor person in a lawsuit do not show favoritism that's a big word right there and a lot of people do that you know they agree with somebody that is wrong and they don't know the whole story and they show favoritism. Not to the right side, but to the wrong side. If you come across your enemy, ox or a donkey wandering off, be sure to return it. If you see the donkey of someone who hates you falling down under its load, do not leave it there. Be sure you help them with it. Do not deny justice to your poor people in their lawsuits. Have nothing to do with a false charge. And do not put an innocent or honest person to death. Do not put an innocent or honest person to death. For I will not acquit the guilty. Wow. See, God will not side with the unrighteous, the guilty, the wickedness. Do not accept a bribe. For a bribe blinds those who see and twist the words of the innocent. You see that? Wow. You see, if I'm in a situation, I take it to God first. And I get a word from God. Like when my spirit is disturbed, you know, because it's easy to fall victim to the to, to the to the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Um you know, we can all, you know, agree to that. For the word of God say, 
you know, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing, you know, and, um, you know, I be trying like real hard to go with my spirit and not go with my flesh. I know what my flesh wants to do and, you know, cause all type of chaos and ruckus and, you know, uh, go back and forth, you know, with a person or anyone for that matter. That's what my flesh wants to do, you know, uh, knock their head off, you know, cuss them out. Uh, body slam them, all type of stuff. That's what my flesh wants to do. You know what I'm saying? Stir up trouble, go, you know, cause, um, you know, uh, all type of stuff. You know, but my spirit wants to be right, be forgiving, you know, be understanding and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm going to read that again. That's uh, coming out of verse 8 in Exodus. Do not accept a bribe, for a bribe blinds those who see and twist the words of the innocent. Do not oppress a foreigner. You yourselves know how it feels to be foreigner, foreigners, because you were foreigners in Egypt. You know, Egypt is the land of uh, captivity, you know, where uh, Moses, you know, went to, you know, free the, uh, you know, Israelites, you know what I'm saying? So, God's uh, chosen uh, people. So, uh, let me go down here in the study section and uh, read some of that. All right, here we go. Starting at verse 1, uh, down in the study section. Making up or spreading false reports was strictly forbidding by God. Gossip, slander, and false witnessing would undermine families, strain neighborhood corruption and make chariots of the justice system this disruptive disruptive gossip still causes problems even if you do not intend initiate a lie even if you do not initiate a lie you become responsible if you pass it along do not do not circulate rumors squandish them squandish them do not circulate rumors squandish them and here go uh verse 2 and 3 out of chapter 20 23 justice is often perverted in favor of the rich. Here, the people are warned against twisting justice in favor of the poor. Justice should be imperial, treating rich and poor alike. So rich and poor, they should be treated alike. Giving special privileges to either rich or poor only makes justice for everyone more unlikely withstand the pressure of the crowd to sway your decisions about a person. Let the fairness God shows to each of us guide your judgment. Okay. And that's what it is. It's, um, you know, is 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 the truth and a lie is righteousness and unrighteousness. You know, for God words say, you know, I will be persecuted or whoever stand with God will be persecuted, you know, um for you know his sake. So um you know uh, I just wanna encourage um 
you know, uh, my guy friends, you know, brothers and sisters that's given their life over to God in baptism, you know, and, you know, being saved, of course, um, you know, just go to the, you know, word of God, you know, seek, you know, wisdom from God, because standing with man or human civilization, they will fail you each and every time, you know, um, because this world is ran by Satan, and those who side with Satan, you know, um, hey, you're going to get what you're going to get, you know, you got a lot of Pinocchios running around here. So don't side with the wrong, side with the right. So that is, you know, what I'm making this video for. You know, uh, don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, and, you know, I encourage y'all, you know, get in y'all word. You know what I'm saying? Stand with God. Don't stand with uh, a man or one man. Don't, you know. Don't stand with this world because they're going to fail you every time. God say, you know, he will never leave you, never forsaken you. His word is not, shall not return void. It will never return void. So if if my spirit is disturbed by anything, I'm going to take it to God first. You know, but I will never stand with man. For I know, you know, what the flesh, you know, can lead to. All type of chaos and destruction and lying and and and, and uh, adultery you know uh, uh um all that so hey this is just peace music ent you know god 365 non-stop i'll catch y'all on the next one man i'm out